Yeah, that's, uh, that's not good. Oh, she did. Hello, my geeky guys and gals. Here's something special. I'm starting a new feature on the channel for Throwback Thursday. For me, at least, it is by the time the video goes up for my time zone. It's midnight, so it would be Thursday. So for you, it could be Wednesday. It could even be Friday, depending on which country you're in. I mean, it's your country. It could be any time zone, really. But for me, it's Thursday when this video goes up. So this is Throwback Thursday. I did a vote on Twitter. And the results was overwhelmingly that I should play this. Yeah, overwhelming. But anyway, I did um, the vote on Twitter saying about how System Shock 2 is getting a HD remake on Kickstarter. And I thought, ooh, that's going to be interesting. And also that Bioshock was also getting a HD collection. I think it was a remake as well, I'm not too sure. But all these great games in the past of the all yesteryears coming back with the whole new modern remakes it'd be cool only problem is HD remakes are not always the best for the game for when it was came out in the original time and thanks again to the Steam Summer Sale I saw all the System Shock collection the originals on a heavily discounted amount so I thought well, what? why not get it and I was originally going to play it offline just for myself but yeah I did a Twitter t poll and people said, yeah, do the originals for th um, Throwback Thursday. And I was umming and ahhing. I was umming and ahhing, thinking, which one shall I do? Which one shall I do? I've already played Bioshock, completed it, wiped the floor with that game. So I thought, well, let's do System Shock. Um, and again, I was also umming and ahhing, which was going to be the better one? Was it going to be the first one or do the second one? And so I did actually do a little bit of research and looking at the screenshots that I saw as well and the votes it turned out System Shock 2 was way much more better than System Shock 1 I mean that's just the general consensus it might not be your opinion you're entitled to your opinion so I thought well anyway let's just do System Shock 2 and hopefully let's see how good this goes so you are going to have to excuse some of the poor resolutions that might come up on this because this is the original that came out way back in 1999 Plus as well, I had to make sure that everything was set up properly, the um, resolution, the controls, because this was back in the day before the WASD keys was a staple for first person shooters. So hopefully this is going to go okay, but we'll see. New game. Uh, let's just go straight to normal. Screw that and start. Look at you, hacker. I'm not hacking. Creature of meat and bone. Looking and Glass Studios. I think they're just closed down now and defunct. Irrational Games? I'm not so sure. Is Irrational Games still up? Hi, Sheldon, my baby. I've, I've never played System Shock. I've never played the first one. I've never even played the second one until now, so I don't know why I should call him my baby. Or FMV sequences of the day, but I fucking love these. Oh, you can just imagine this on CD ROM back in the days, and you just think you stick it in, and you install it, and you run it. It probably only took about, what, a gigabyte of size, if that. And the, this was back in the days when home computers weren't really all that powerful enough to do a proper good. Um, not an FMV sequence as such, but the day the magic run a plotline or a storyline using the in-game engine because the graphics were just so voyage. that bad. This incredible journey is the result so they did these FMV sequences on super powerful computers, pre-rendered them, stick them into a video and put the video on the disc. Imagine and this is what it comes out with. To distant star systems in a period of weeks. It's wow. all part of Triops commitment to the And future. these videos, Ron these were just rendered at the lowest resolution. Scientific and security oh, systems. shut up, hiccups. All developed by Triops and fully owned subsidiaries. But these videos were rendered at the lowest resolution, which was 640 by 480. So on bigger, resolu uh, bigger resolutions, you just get all kinds of shitty pixelation. Oh, I love it! 
I love it, man. This old school. This is, is so old school. Of oh, man. I think it was the, the first game that I ever played where it used the in-game engine to run a story through and have the scene be acted out as armor. Not, not armor. Um, Operation Flashpoint. Because there was no proper lip syncing. The jaws just went up and down. So, like, you had... This was your upper lip, and this was your bottom lip of the jaw, the cat, and it was just like that. There's no lip movement or anything. Not even the eyes moved, it was just static. And just the lower jaw going up and down, up and down like that, and just talking. And for this as well, uh, I couldn't find an option for subtitles. And that would be another bad thing for a game this old as well, because you could increase the resolution but it didn't scale the text properly. Half-Life, the original Half-Life, that was a sucker for that. You could increase the resolutions. Talking of Half-Life, fucking hell, we're starting on a tram system. Welcome to the Ramsey Center UNN Recruitment Facility. Thank Please you. Please watch your step when leaving the train. Hi, the dude. at the end of the hall will take you to the street-level oh, training and recruitment oh, center. Oh, man. Please proceed to the grab shafts. <laughs> oh, look at that. The fucking Half-Life, man. Wait, what? A and D is just fucking turn and not. Oh wow, that's gonna be weird. Hold on a sec. Can I change that? Controls, customize, slide, slide left. That's gonna be a strafe. Okay, let's change that because I like the classic W A S D. So yeah, right is that. Uh, stand, what? Okay, I'm just gonna call it that. Oh, it's not. No! Fucking, uh. Oh, fuck it. Oh, that's a was, not a was. Okay, never mind. Rocking on. There we go, that's better. And mouth is, uh, mouth. Mouse is pretty quick, so that's cool. Oh, look at that. Low resolution mixed in with high resolution. Fuck it up! Oh, I love it! I so love it! These old school games. I think probably back in 1999, I did have my own computer, but it was like, um, 733 megahertz or something like that. I was playing Grand Theft Auto Vice City, and it was just powerful enough to run it. Step into the grab shafts to proceed to the street level recruitment. Are these the future elevators? Alright then, it's going up. It is! Oh man. Watch your head! Oh wow. Holy crap. Now it's giving me vibes of fucking Unreal Tournament, the first one that ever came out. You see that in the introduction scene, the music playing and there's just the camera floating around the city. Wah, wah, ding, Fucking love that old, st old school mod music. I mean, that kind of mod music style back in the days, it's even still so popular, it's still done now. Hey! How you doing in there, girls? I think you're girls anyway. Where am I going? Do I actually go through here? Oh, wait a minute, what, what's the use key on this? Is it enter? Which one's to use? Jump is space, change weapon, next weapon, previous weapon, my reload, attack, inventory! Oh, cool, got an inventory. Uh, speed up, free look, uh, Siam. What the fuck says Siam? Worm launcher! <laughs> I know that's gonna be a hacking um, meaning of worm, but. I just had the feeling of playing the original Worms and the first Worms that came out by Team 17. Fucking hell. That was a fucking classic as well. So is it... Now there's no... Use or... Oh, no. Use item... Oh, no, use item mouse 2. Not use. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm just going to have to wing it. and see how we go. But yeah, it was like 733 megahertz. There was the most powerful computer I could afford at the time. And I think the most powerful processor at the time was um, a 1.2 gigahertz. But 
my CPU was just enough powerful enough to run Vice City that my GPU, I think it was a Matrox Millennium G200 or G400. Before you choose your career, you Hi. want to learn some basic abilities. Okay. First, you should go into the basic training center. When you're well. done with basic training, proceed to the advanced training area. Yes, Rob64. Holy crap, we're going into Tron now! To pick up some basic skills you'll need to get by in the service, enter this uh -huh. Cyberlink booth. Inside, you'll learn the basic skills you'll need to get started. Okie dokie. Welcome, oh, trainee. While okay. you're in our virtual training courses, we provide you with a simulated cyber interface. This training interface is identical to an actual military-grade cyber interface. So now, that this is a light cycle path. Move the mouse. <laughs> See how it changes where you look. You don't say. That means you uh -huh, uh -huh. Hit the tab key. <laughs> this puts you in use mode, where you can use your mouse to interact ah, with items in okay. the world. Open your primary MFD or multifunction display by clicking on the MFD button near the bottom of the screen. Ah. Huh? This MFD? display shows your strengths in various areas. Oh, when you're okay. Ready to continue. Press the tab key to go back to shoot mode. Before they said MSD. Try changing between modes until you get the hang of it. Follow the red path along the ground to the next uh, training station. Okay. Right, never mind. I'm just going to go straight through. To I said I'm going to wing it. Center them on your screen and right click. This will automatically uh, place that item into your inventory. To view that's your inventory, giving me freaking Deus Ex vibes key. now. You can move to use items like buttons and computers. Yeah. Center them in your view and click the right mouse button. Yeah. All usable items will have brackets around. That's Deus Ex to I me, like the is that? The, the original Deus right Ex. Click. This will activate the lift. Try it lift? Out. You're actually calling it a lift, not elevator? You can still see your inventory wow. display. It means you're in use mode. Hit tab to return <laughs> to shoot mode. That's good. The object before you is a med hypo. Pick that is fucking and then Deus Ex! to go into use mode. Right clicking on the med hypo will use it and restore some needed hit points. Your hit ah. points are displayed by a bar in the lower left yes, corner you. of your screen. Oh, no, 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 See the crate in front of you? Yeah. To search it, center it on your screen and right click. Okay. If you are in use mode, simply move the pointer what to the, the crate hell is and right click. To take an item from that container, simply left click on it. Mm -hmm. This will automatically okay. place that item in your inventory. To close the container window and return Please? shoot mode, Press the tab key. Used to apply to current research. I don't know what that is. I think I'll save that for later. One of the most important tools you have as a soldier is your PDA. <laughs> this device stores audio logs, emails, and other useful information. Click on the disk icon near the bottom of your screen to bring up the PDA display. Ah, that. Okay. The contents of your PDA. Now it's time to learn about jumping and mantling. To jump, simply press the space bar. Yeah, I think that one out. Huh? can be mantled onto oh. by holding down the Oh, okay, bar. got it. Mantling lets you pull yourself up to ledges and other high places in front of you. Ah, that's cool. Give it a try. That's cool. And jump over to that one. Got it. Sweet. And just to climb yeah, the ladder. Just walk simply walk it. into it and look upward. You'll um, automatically start climbing Can I get off the ladder? ladder? Thank you. Right, let's get out of here. You've done well. Thank you. Remember, if you're unclear on any aspect of what you've just learned, you can repeat the training as often as you wish. Ah. If you've completed oh. basic training, you're ready for the advanced Woo! lessons provided here. Advanced tra Ooh. I don't know whether I should do it or not. That's the thing. that You, you really had to go through these tutorials because... You had instruction manuals back in the day, sure, and they would tell you the keys about what to do and how to play the game. But who would actually read instruction manuals? That's why they're pretty much non-existence now. Not only that, you've, most of your games, all your games, even this one now, is all digital downloads. You don't get an instruction manual anymore. Fuck it, you know what? I'm just going to wing it. <laughs> it's going to be the best way to choice, play soldier. me. Here's where you enlist in one of the three branches of the military. Once you decide on your branch of service, there's no going back. A shuttle will take you to a UNN orbital space station, where you'll receive a briefing regarding your yearly postings. Good luck. I get a choice! Fuck me, I am loving this game already! I don't know what OSA is, but I'm going to go for the hard-up marines, but... 
All the shuttles are going to bay two for some reason. Oh man. I mean, okay, I've never ever in my life played this game before, but the style is, uh, uh, yeah, stylization of it and all the full motion video sequences, it just brings me back to the days of my old fucking 733 megahertz powerhouse beast. I had, what did I have? I had um, 128 megabytes of RAM. I had a, I think it was a two gigabyte hard drive. I'm not sure, but it was running Windows 98 Second Edition, and I, I stuck to that for a long time. I did not go to Windows XP until I think about 2003, 2004, something like that. And I must admit. That was because of the job that I managed to get at that time where I was a security officer. And a new company moved into the building, but as they were setting all their floors up, which took a few good few weeks, they didn't properly lock everything down, and one of them left out a copy of Windows XP, and um, I might have made a copy of it. Oopsie. <laughs> Not that I can condone software piracy, because now these days I've, I've bought everything apart from my Windows 10, which is a free upgrade. I got a, um, I did go out. Where is it gone? There you are. Just get it. I did go out and buy a copy of Windows 8.1. There we go. I just bought that just for the license key and make sure that I've actually got an operating system and then let my computer go through the whole upgrade process to get Windows 10 but yeah I don't condone software privacy but back in my younger days I did I did so much I'm so bad hello that's a good thing about these old games as well you can see the sky boxes so clearly I mean that is probably that edge of the world right there is probably like no more than a block or two away in geometry terms of the game world but they put in the skybox texture to make it look like it's actually further away than it really is and I know that because in Unreal Tournament I made my own map levels as well and I learned how to use skyboxes Welcome to Space awesome. Station Wake Island Marine. Hi. So you've survived basic training at Camp Lejeune. Nope. Better still, you've managed to learn a thing or two about standard weapons. Nope. But now it's time for the real deal. No. Your tour of duty will consist of four postings over four years. The Corps demands a lot of you grunts, but the Corps is generous. If you, you say so. You get to choose your own postings. Oh. Head up to the shuttle bays in the center of the Wake Island, and you'll be briefed on what's ahead. Can I be a fast... When you find the right posting, head into that bay to accept the assignment. Good luck, Marine. Thanks, Rob64. Now, but can I go on, please? If I can choose my own posting, can I be a fast forward server? Because, you know, I don't need to go into battle then, do I? And pointless of the game. <laughs> Hello. This is a horror game. I mean, it's like a, a sci-fi cyberpunk horror game. And I'm not sure how long it takes for the horror to kick in, but knowing a game of this style... I shut up with the hiccups! Knowing a, um, a game style of this... It won't be long, it'll just like introduce you to the game, get you into the world and see the vistas and everything else that's been built into this world. Make you drop your aura, everything. If this is so unreal, like the game Unreal, the first Unreal that came out, the, having the Vortex Rikers crash land onto the world, onto the planet. Fucking hell. Oh, memories, man. That's another thing I did as well when Unreal first came out. Hang on, let's go zero grab training. IO survival training. If you're partial to spending time with a lot of high explosives, this posting is for you. There's a lot of heavy lifting, but Ordnance also gets the first pick of booze and other goodies coming aboard the supply ship Gallo. Lock and load. <laughs> Straight in it. I just heard explosives now, like, yeah, that's for me. But yeah, that's a, what's it saying? Um, yeah, Unreal. When that first came out, I didn't have the um, a computer at the time. I was saving it, saving myself up. I, I couldn't 
decide on whether to get a PlayStation or a PC, but ultimately I went for PC first before I got a PlayStation. And I remember my local game store, it had a computer actually set up with Unreal Plane on there, and every single day when it was my lunch break from college, I'd go in there and play, and it got so bad that the manager actually came up to me one time and said, you know, I'm actually getting tired of you coming in here and not buying anything. And I told him, you know, I am saving up. And his eyes like up, and like, oh, okay then. <laughs> Sweet! I get two strength! I'm a beast! Oh, year two already? Damn, that's a quick year! How am I here already? Okay, let's get in here. Say please! Okay. Oh, is this character building? Huh? A tour of duty aboard the NT facility has enough hardware to warm the heart of any leather. Okay, head. that'll do. That'll do for me. Weapons and explosives. That's my kind of going. Oh man, FMV sequences, look at that. Hopefully this is going to come out in the recording alright, but... Oh, it should be okay, because I'm using my um, AVI Media capture card, the actual hardware capture, rather than software capture from... Yeah! Do the robot, man! Yeah, I can, I can dig it. <laughs> Wait, now he's doing the Macarena. <laughs> he's doing the... Holy fuck, dude, do it again. Yeah, I mean, he's doing it. The hands actually moved as well. <laughs> Shake that booty. Oh, I don't even know if that's an Easter egg or not, but that is so cool. You are a badass robot. This is Deus Ex, man. You got a little robo dude over there, got big fucking Ed 209 over there. And G Man up there, I just caught a glimpse, but whatever. Oh man, I'm loving this game. What do we got here? The colony air service gets the. When things are bad, it can require fending off a psi terrorist assault. Okay, that'll do. Wow, I know this video is getting on long as it is already, but. This might be one of the few rare games of its time where it's actually got a long first person story. I don't know how long this game is, but if there's anything to go about this um, introduction here, I'm, I'm going to guess around about 8 and 10 hours. See we're getting into it now, so it's just those first three sections here. Now we're getting into the main grunt of it. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to play the first mission, or the, at least complete the first objective, or whatever it is I need to do. And once that's done, I'm going to end the video here. So this might be a series where it has to be a half hour long video. Thank you. So yeah, this series might have to be half an hour long, depending on the length of the game as well. It might turn out to be an hour long episode, but we're just going to have to see. What's happening here? Shodan girl! Are you messing up with these people in cryostasis? I think it's cryostasis anyway. Yeah, that, that, that's not good. Oh, she did. Oh, she well did. Reinitializing memory strains. Oh. Restoring patient memory. T minus three years. These are the fucking cryo tubes from um, cryostasis machine things from Future Armor. Oh hell no, that's not not good. I got the time, countdown timer and everything. Yourself, Welcome this to the world of tomorrow! Of the Von Braun. You're safe for the time being. You're recovering from the effects of surgery and will be unable to remember any of the events of the last few weeks. Just shake it off. You're on board the starship Von Braun and something's gone very, very wrong. Mm, some kind of force has hijacked Someone's the left some tomato ketchup down on the floor there. Oh, look at the texture in fucking hell. Rely on your cyber interface. It just might save your life. 
You must find oh, an elevator and come man. up to deck four to meet me. Deck four. Can you remember that? No. But keep your eyes open. They're after us both now. Whatever you say, sweet key sweet cakes. Oh man. That is what I love. Old school. There's just Watch out. I'm getting strange readings from that radar dish outside the window. You mean that one? Unstable, dude. Move! Oh, I'm moving. Is this cover all right? Um, yeah. Kind of. Oh, search. It's alien isolation. Old school. I got a wrench. <laughs> Sweet. We're safe now. Holy crap. Yeah, as I was just trying to say there, it's like really, really old school texturing. It's, we weren't powerful enough to render facial animations then. It was just like very basic polygonal building. Oh, man. So where do we go? Search cars, we've just done that. Have I got to use it? What have I got to do? Ah, oh, okay. Ah. Ah. I got him puzzled out, you puzzle. Well, that's not good. Oh. Okay, I'm going. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. You don't need to tell me, it's right. I don't know what I picked up there. Alright, got it, somehow. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going, going. Nice big ass computer. Oh. Oh shit, you tell it. Great. Got a chance the oh. access codes out of cryo Four five one hundred. I think Grassy just likes to make work for me. I'll set the new code to four five one zero zero. That should be easy enough to remember. Four five one zero zero. Got it! Oh. Wait, we. What's crouch? Ooh. I should really be looking at the controls, shouldn't I? Uh, crouch. Keypad center is crouch. Are you nuts, game? Fucking changing that shit. And put to C and. Control. That'll do me. Oh! Yeah! Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, something not good happening. Warning. I'm getting that. Decompression event imminent. Please I'm going. Immediately to cryo recovery B. I'm going. Decompression event imminent. I'm going. I'm going. Oh, another wrench. Take that. Do I smash you? Why are you? Energy recharge station. Okay. This Done. power cell is dead. There should ah. be a recharger nearby. Ah. Just use it and it will recharge all the power driven devices in your possession. After you've recharged the cell, plug it into the auxiliary power unit. That should open the airlock door. Be quick about it. The vacuum seals won't hold up much longer. Did I do it? I don't know what I'm doing here. Not that. Ah, got it. So cool. That's Good. innovative. You've managed to get out before the whole area depressurized. Thank you. I've just uploaded you some cybernetic modules. You can use them to upgrade your cybernetic rig at the upgrade units in this area. There are four types of units in the next room. One for each subsystem of your cybernetic gear. Stats, psi, weapons, and tech. But use the modules carefully. They're hard to come by. This is Deus Ex. Oh shit. Everything's fooped up. Uh, weapons upgrade. Which one are you? Psy upgrade. Stats upgrade. And tech upgrade. Ah, screw it. Let's just go for the weapons right now. Oh. Insufficient cyber m modules. Oh, is these these dudes? Oh shit! Oh, okay. 
I can't upgrade anything then. Oh, I can upgrade something on here. Strain fragility. Okay, yeah, we'll use that one. Yeah. Alright, we're done. Oh, that's back to the same place. Right, okay. There's my space age elevator there. Oh, I should have searched first. Ah, dingus. All right, never mind. Oh, I can, yep, no, don't mind me, but I can just search a body through a half open door of me. Weird, but whatever. I'll go with it. Fun things. Oh, I could just gone through here anyway. <laughs> oh, man. So let's see what we've got in there. No, no, I'm a bog now, apparently. Some kind of bog. Software. So is is that these? No, these are the nanites. So what do these do? I don't know. This is good. Oh, I've got another same thing as well. Hey, Doc. A security bot. Show. Good. You've managed to get out before the whole area depressurized. Uh, well, I don't know what I'm doing on there. You some cybernetic Let's... modules. Hacks go one. Uh, okay. So it's an RPG there game then. Four types of units in the next room. Uh, one for each subsystem of your cybernetic gear. Stats, uh, nothing psi, in there. weapons, and tech. But use the modules carefully. They're hard to come yeah, by. There's nothing in there. So I, I, I gotta upgrade myself just like Deus Ex style. Oh wow. These are the same places. Hi. You did. What are you? Siam. The fuck's a Siam? Oh, I should be paying more attention to all this shit. There are five tiers of side disciplines. You can learn more side disciplines by enha enhancing your side skills and upgrade unit. Choose a side discipline. Uh, equip your Siam with a tilde key. Then select a discipline. Huh? Oh man, what? Oh. Oh. Okay. And it's let's a discipline in the site MDF. That's this. Ah, oh, okay. Quite fair to see a sign of disciplines to increase your maximum sound effects by two. That's one point per use. Uh, ain't got a clue what me doing. Alright then, I'll just go back to using the wrench, thank you. I'll put you in there. Alright. Are oh, these my stasis chambers that I came out of? Uh, yeah, that's back down to the bottom floor, so I don't need to be going there. Hello? Okay, never mind. Nothing much to read there. Well, me. It's like that when I got here. Science sets a card. That, have you got my code on? Well, I'll just get myself some more nanites and break this down. Holy crap, that is one heck of a code. I ain't gonna remember all that. <laughs> oh shit, man. I love these old school games. Hi? Somebody let me out. No? I can't find my card. Please, let me out of here. Okay. Jeez, I'm not getting picking up a lot of nanites. I must be a bog. Get around the corner, I'll see seven of nine. Hi! I'm uploading some Hi there! Modules. Uh, ouchie! Can you go away? Sorry! 
Oh, hi, it's an oven. Feel your flesh. Yeah, I'm sorry. You just dive there. It's alright. It's all cool. Ooh. Unresearched objects. Uh huh. And is. I'm hearing a. I'm hearing Metal Mickey somewhere. Is he good or is he bad? I don't know if that's a. Okay. Let me save my game just to be safe. Because this is an old school game. There's no such thing as an auto save feature. Oh, hi. Search container. Uh, uh, no, nothing. Oh, I can hack it. But I need a hacking skill. I keep forgetting about that. No. Oh. Ew. Bag of chips. Sweet. What flavour of them? Oh, man, some. Um, was it cheese and onion? That would be nice. Bottle of liquor. I'm liking this music. That's proper cyberpunk music right there. Oh, you're the robo dude. You friendly? Let me go and have a look at you. I'm going to chat to you. See if you're friendly. Maintenance shaft. Can't get in anywhere. I need the code. Alrighty then. You're an elevator. That insipid computer Xerxes has shut down the elevator as well. All you right. can transfer power at the engine core on deck one, which will get the elevator up and running again. But you can't use the elevator to get down there. Wait. There's some kind of maintenance access right on this hallway. You can use it to reach deck one. However, it's locked, and Xerxes That's is hiding us. a passcode from me. Dr. Watts should have the code. He's probably in the crew subsection. Grassi has the key to get in there, but he's in the medical subsection, probably near the biopsy. Uh, okay, you just give me too much information too quickly, sweetheart. Just back it up and then slow it down, yeah? Right, well, you know, I'm actually going to save it here and end the video for now. 27 minutes, yeah, going on quite long enough already. So, yeah, th this series might end up being a half hour long episode because I am loving this game already right from the start. It seems to be action horror RPG because the sounds that those creatures make, whatever those two do as well, they, they, they had human voice shouting and whatnot, but they clearly weren't human. Something's happened to them to morph and analyze them into some kind of weird, demonic, evil, horrific, bog creature thing. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, man. I am definitely going to be playing more of this. It's so old school. I love it. None of this um, in-game actual game engine usage to use cutscenes with this is FMV oh, 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 oh. I am so loving it anyway sorry I'm reminiscing too much reminiscing too much I am an old guy I am an old man I am an old I'm just so old anyway thank you so much for watching my video my geeky guys and guys if you liked it smack the like button if you didn't smack the dislike button but if you do dislike please give me a comment down below and let me know what I can do to improve the video just for you and as always if you want to know when the next video is coming out smack the subscribe button over in that corner actually not that one because there's nothing over there that corner down there and I'll see you in the next video so bye bye for now How did you just appear out from nowhere? Okay. Ah, oh, hell. So as I get through this game and can complete it, I might get the remake if it's a. Well, it won't be available by the time I get around to actually completing this, but I might get the remake and play that, but. I might only actually play the first level or so, just see the difference of it. But if it turns out really good, then I might play it offline. It's like playing the original Half-Life 1 again, and then playing Black Mesa, which is a, a modern remake, a fan-made remake of 
Half-Life 1, I managed to play the um, the Black Mesa demo, which was pretty much all levels up to the last couple, I think. The last levels before you actually reached Zen, the Zen homeworld. And it looked absolutely phenomenal. But now it's been completed, which means it's no longer free. Yet. You pay £15 for it on, on Steam. So, yeah, that that's... That's remakes, man. Fucking hell. So old school and so cool. Oh, I'm, I'm a proper geek right now. 